Professor Francis Smith, Head of the Department of Cardiothoracic Surgery in the School of Medicine at the University of the Free State in Bloemfontein, recently performed a very rare operation. The aim of the operation was to prolong the life of a two-year-old boy suffering from a deadly heart disease. This is only the second time that this operation has been performed in South Africa and the first time ever in a state hospital. And long QT syndrome um, is an inherited disease which leads to um, very serious arrhythmia and can cause sudden cardiac death. This poor child um, has been on medication for a while and, and despite uh, all the drugs that he's been taking, he's, he was still getting episodes of fainting, uh, which is often a precursor to sudden cardiac death. The patient's mother describes what happens during such fainting episodes. There's no breathing. He becomes blue in the face. Often there's no pulse indicating that his heart is not beating anymore. Sometimes it looks like an epileptic fit, but most of the times his eyes simply roll backwards and his body becomes numb. These uh, very fast um, contractions of the pumping chambers of the ventricles is bizarre and is uncoordinated um, contractions. Uh, that means that the, the, the ventricles or the pumping chambers can't fill and um, then there's no cardiac output. And um, essentially what happens at the end, there's no uh, oxygen to the brain and then you get sudden cardiac death. It's terrible. You don't know if he's going to regain consciousness. It's a feeling of despair you cannot describe to anyone. So we really had no choice but to insert a device called a cardioverter defibrillator, uh, which is a pacemaker-like device which uh, monitors and treats, uh, you know, uh, these specific arrhythmias. These devices are built for people of our size. They're not built for uh, pediatric uh, patients. And uh, we normally this device would be placed in by electrophysiologists like Dr. Van Amava. They would make an incision just below the clavicle and put it via the venous system into the heart and uh, that would be conducted in the cath lab. Now, that same device that looks like this in, a, in an adult becomes like that in a, in a, in a, in a child and uh, placing the, 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 the fibrillator battery back is actually quite a challenge. What is demonstrated on this uh, x-ray is the size of the, the device with the, the two atrial leads in this position. The ventricular leads on the right ventricle outflow tract is here and there. And this part at the back of the heart is the ICD device which actually does the defibrillation. These are the connecting uh, leads to a battery that uh, was placed in the, uh, in the abdominal wall. Uh, this device contains the, the battery pack as well as a very advanced uh, technology in microchip that would control both the pacemaking device as well as the defibrillation. So the idea is then that the child would remain on his beta blockers, which is a, uh, the the medication that slows down the, the heart rate as well as the conduction. Uh, if he slows down too much, the pacemaker would uh, kick in and give him a, a minimal rate. And if he has a fibrillation episode, the device uh, will then defibrillate him and give him a shock and restore a normal rhythm. Hopefully this device will uh, prolong this child's life and also give some peace of mind for the parents uh, because they know that uh, there's a safety net available that if this child should get uh, um, an important or life-threatening arrhythmia, that this device is there that will treat it and save his life. I believe and I trust, and I'm experiencing great relief after my son has had the operation. About 20% uh, of the patients uh, will die within the first year uh, with long QT syndrome if they get these episodes. And at 15 years, the mortality rate is about 50%. So that's dramatically reduced uh, with an ICD and medical treatment to about 10%. I just want to say thank you. I could not have asked for better doctors and professors. Through it all, they have been wonderful. I don't think I would have had the same experience anywhere else in the country.
With this operation, the departments of Pediatric Cardiology, Cardiology and Cardiothoracic Surgery at the Free State University confirm their leading roles at the forefront of technological innovation in the treatment of heart disease.